What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay Costa. I'm a real estate investor, developer, and agent here in Northern New Jersey. And I want to just thank you guys because we just hit the 2,000 subscriber mark. I greatly, greatly appreciate all 2,000 of you. And as I say in every video, we are slowly building a community here of kind of like like-minded individuals looking to build wealth in real estate using many different tools, but most specifically using a home equity line of credit in order to build wealth in real estate. And that's what we're gonna go over today. My top five best home equity line of credit lenders for 2023. I'm gonna share with you my top five HELOC lenders for 2023, as well as give you what factors to look into when choosing a HELOC lender and some tips and tricks that most people don't know that will save you money. Now, I did make a video about this last year in 2022, but since so much has changed in the credit market since then, I figured it was worth an update to share with you today. If you're new to the channel, first, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Drop a comment in the comment section down below, introduce yourself, and let us know who you are, where you're from, and what you're using your home equity line of credit for. But you should also check out my previous videos on HELOCs that I've put up in the past. I'll put a link up here in the corner, as well as in the description box down below. Definitely recommend checking those out before or after this one. Now, there are multiple factors when trying to decide on the best HELOC lender for you and your situation. And there's four main specific ones we're gonna cover today. Number one is the interest rate and the interest rate margin. Number two is the LTV or loan to value. Number three is the appraised value of your property. And number four is closing costs and fees. Most HELOC lenders, or maybe all HELOC lenders, honestly, base their APR, their interest rate, on what's called the prime rate, which is set by the Federal Reserve, plus a certain spread. This spread is what I like to call the interest rate margin. As of right now, in June of 2023, the current prime rate is 8.25%. Yes, it has gone up a lot in the last year. So if your HELOC lender has an interest rate margin of 1.5%, that means you're going to be paying 9.75% interest rate or APR on your HELOC. Each lender is gonna base this margin on what your credit is, what your income is, where the property location is, as well as what type of property that it is. And of course, generally speaking, the lower the margin, the better, because that means you're paying less in interest on your balance. So make sure that you shop around to at least three different HELOC lenders in order to see what they're offering interest rate wise. Next is loan to value, or better known as LTV. Now, LTV is a very, commonly used term in the mortgage industry. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the loan amount divided by the value of your property. The general industry standard for HELOCs is, I would say, about 75 to 80% LTV, but you can find some that are higher. So definitely, once again, shop around. Try to find a lender that offers the highest LTV with the terms that you're looking for. Generally speaking, the higher the LTV, the better, because that means you have more access to the equity that you have in your property. But if you're only looking for maybe a small amount on your home equity line of credit, and you find a lender that only has a 70 or 75% LTV, but the terms are better, maybe the interest rate or what have you is better, don't, don't be afraid to go with that lender instead of the higher LTV. Generally speaking, the higher LTV, the better, because it means you have more access to your own equity that you have in your property, right? But keep in mind that a lot of lenders that offer higher LTVs also kind of offer that higher LTV with a higher interest rate. So keep that in mind. The number three factor here is the appraised amount of your property. When you apply for a home equity line of credit, that lender is going to send an appraiser out to your home. Now, some send this appraiser out free of charge. You don't have to pay anything out of pocket, while others you do have to pay out of pocket for this appraisal. So I wouldn't recommend going and having a bunch of appraisers come to your house unless you know you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. If you don't, then have three different appraisers come and appraise your house. This is what happened in my situation when I applied for a home equity line of credit. I go over this in a previous video of mine, one of the first ones, honestly, on me applying for my home equity line of credit and getting approved for almost $200,000. I'll put a link up here in the corner as well as in the description box down below if you wanna check that out. In that video, I go over kind of the basics of a home equity line of credit and how to apply for one. In that situation, I had three different lenders send out appraisers and they were all very, very different appraised values. Two of them were full appraisals where they had to come inside the house and one of them was just an exterior appraisal. So keep that in mind as well. Some lenders, especially if they're paying for themselves, an exterior appraisal only is gonna cost them less, but at least in my situation, the exterior appraisal 
was the lowest appraised amount. Compared to the highest appraised amount, the difference was almost $80,000. So once again, this is, I, I sound like a broken record, but shop around with multiple HELOC lenders to make sure you're, you know exactly what you're signing up for and exactly what you have to pay for out of pocket as well as what the lender is covering. Generally speaking, the higher appraised amount, the better because you'll have more access to more money, right? But if you only need maybe like a small amount on your home equity line of credit, and one lender is offering you less of an appraised value, but it has better terms, like a better interest rate or something like that, then don't be afraid to go with the smaller uh, or with the lower appraised value if that's all you need. Lastly, we're gonna talk about fees and closing costs. Now, even though a HELOC is known for its low fees and its really low closing costs compared to traditional mortgages, that's honestly, it's almost its number one selling point, you still do need to be aware of what you're being charged by your lender and what they're covering for you fee and closing cost wise. Some lenders have no fees at all. Like mine, I didn't pay anything out of pocket. While other lenders have kind of like waived fees if you hold a certain amount on your balance and some lenders just have like an annual fee of 100 or 150 or $200 a year that you have to pay no matter what. Each lender will be different. So definitely once again, shop around. Ask as many questions as possible. Another tip for you guys when you're applying for home equity line of credit lenders is make sure you know of any promotions that these lenders are running. Each one's gonna have a different promotion. Actually, many offer a very, very enticing introductory interest rate for maybe the first year or so. Also, most lenders, just like any bank, wants you to open up more accounts with them. So a lot of the times they'll waive fees or give you a lower interest rate if you open up different, uh, let's say, checking accounts or brokerage accounts or set up direct deposit, things like that, because they want you to use their bank. So when you're talking to these HELOC lenders, make sure you know and are aware of every promotion that they have available at that time to try to get your fees down and your interest rate down as much as humanly possible. All right, so let's get to it. My top five HELOC lenders for 2023. Starting with number five is Bank of America. Now, Bank of America, we all know it's one of the biggest banks in the world. Bank of America currently offers an 80% loan to value with a pretty decent rate depending on your credit and income. But if you're already a Bank of America preferred member or preferred customer, you can get your rate down substantially, anywhere from like an eighth of a percent all the way to up to like three eighths of a percent down from what they usually charge people. This depends on how much you have in their brokerage and savings accounts and things like that. And it probably changes a lot. So definitely ask them directly about the details. But if you're already a BOA preferred customer, you may want to look into using them for your HELOC. Bank of America also offers HELOCs on secondary homes, which is not really typical, especially in this HELOC market. And Bank of America charges zero fees as far as I can tell. So you get access to your home equity line of credit with absolutely nothing out of pocket. A big, big plus. One potential negative for Bank of America though is that they do hit you with an early termination fee if you close out your line of credit within three years. But in my experience, that's a pretty typical thing for most of these lenders. Number four is US Bank, another huge, huge bank, and one of the biggest ones in the HELOC industry. Many people in the comments section in my other videos have mentioned US Bank as one of the biggest HELOC lenders out there. They are known as an overall great HELOC lender because of their low APR interest rates, as well as the fact, just like Bank of America, that they have z absolutely zero closing costs. You also can get a lower rate if you're a US Bank member. So that's like one of those promotions that we were talking about earlier. If you're going to use US Bank, definitely sign up as a US Bank member and see how much you're gonna save on that rate. But some don't like the fact that US Bank does charge a $90 per year annual fee if you're not a member of US Bank. And just like Bank of America, there is an early closure or early termination fee if you close out the line of credit within 30 months. My number three HELOC lender for this year, 2023, is Figure Bank. Figure Bank is an all internet based HELOC lender. It's pretty new to the HELOC scene as far as I can tell and has some pretty great reviews. Since it's an all internet based company, the application process is very, very simple and easy and straightforward and they claim you can get approved for your HELOC within five minutes. They also claim that after being approved, you can be fully funded in your HELOC within five business days. That's pretty impressive. So if you need access to your money quickly, 
Figure Bank may be the best option for you. They do also offer very, very competitive APR rates, but they may charge you a one-time origination fee, which could be anywhere from nothing, 0%, all the way up to 4.99%. I'm assuming this would be based off of your credit and your income and the property type and location. Plus there is a minimum credit score of a 640 to 660 I've seen, and there is a limit, a max in regards to how much they could actually give you, and I think the max is $400,000 unless you're in California, which is typically a bit lower than most lenders offer. Since there is a cap of 400,000, if you have a property that you own free and clear with no mortgage, and this is going to be a first lien HELOC instead of a second lien HELOC, you may want to look elsewhere. Number two is Penn Fed Credit Union. Penn Fed Credit Union was in my previous video last year for 2022 best HELOC lenders, and it's still here in 2023. It comes as one of the most recommended HELOC lenders still here in 2023. The biggest reasons why Penn Fed is so suggested all over the internet for HELOCs is first because they have a high LTV of 85% plus the fact that you can use PenFed to get an investment property HELOC, which is huge because that is not really offered very much anymore. But one potential negative to PenFed is since it is a credit union, the time that it could take to get that HELOC approved and get it funded is almost for sure going to be longer than like a figure or something like that. I've seen people online say it could take up to 90 days actually to get that HELOC fully funded. So if you need a, qu a quick, fast access to this equity that you have, this capital, PenFed may not work for you. Also, PenFed does charge you out of pocket for the appraisal up to $850. So if you are shopping around to different lenders and you wanna look to see who's going to appraise your uh, house for the highest amount, I would not recommend PenFed unless you know you're going to use them because they're going to charge you $850 out of pocket for that appraisal, whether you use them or not. So keep that in mind. And lastly, there is an annual fee with PenFed of $99. The number one HELOC lender in 2023 is yours. Let me explain. HELOCs are a unique sort of product and they're very locally based because they're based off of your market and more specifically your home. And in my research, almost every single time a local credit union or even like a local bank or maybe regional bank is the most suited to give you a HELOC on your home. The reason for that is because A, they know your market and they know your house. So they know the area, they know what is going on locally in the real estate market. So they're more likely to give you better terms because they know the area way more than a Bank of America does. And in case things go sideways, they're more willing or they're more able, let's say, to take over your house, to take over your house if needed, but God forbid. So do yourself a favor when you're picking out lenders here and Google search local credit union or local banks that offer HELOCs in your area or zip code or what have you. And I recommend speaking to them first. See what the customer service is like and see what they're offering both rate wise, uh, closing uh, cost wise, and everything like that and see what the process is because I almost guarantee 90% of the time they're gonna be the best option for you. Familiarity they have with your area allows them to offer things that Bank of America or bigger banks cannot. Now, the only drawback to using like a small local lender or credit union is like the customer service. You would think it wouldn't be as good or they'd be a little slower, but you'll always be able to, to at least go in person and speak face to face. And there is some value to that still in 2023. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, I appreciate all of my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, please drop a comment, introduce yourself, let us know who you are. We are building a community here. So if you have any questions about HELOCs, let us know what you want to use a HELOC for, what your experience has been. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.